Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be discussing one of my favorite Balenciaga pieces, the clip clutch in size large. If you're interested to learn more, stick around. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new around here, my name is Caleb. And if you're interested in things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, travel vlogs, daily vlogs, pretty much anything having to deal with life or style, I'm your guy. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Hit this video with the thumbs up and check out some of my older videos. I have tons of reviews and unboxings, some travel videos up. So if you follow me on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer, shameless plug, you know that I am absolutely over the moon, there we go, obsessed with Balenciaga. Now, my obsession with Balenciaga Balenciaga. See, I kind of missed the Balenciaga boat the first time around. I don't know what I was thinking. I just didn't get into it. I, I think I was at a point in my collecting where I wanted it to be um, the bag themselves anyway, emblazoned with logos, and I wanted people to know what I was carrying. I'm past that phase a little bit. Um, in my collecting, so I, I love going for beautifully crafted leather bags. Um, we happened to be in Italy. We were at the outlet in Florence, the mall. If you know, you know, it's fabulous. And I walked into the Balenciaga outlet and I saw one of these and I was floored. I think it was in Greece, the gray they had um, one year. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I absolutely loved it. And since I'm showing you a black one, I think it's pretty obvious I didn't buy the one there in, in Florence. Um, funny story, so we had actually been shopping all day. Um, I bought a few um, ready to wear pieces and runway um, clothing items from the Gucci store. Zane picked up Gladiator sandals from Givenchy. So needless to say, we are walking around in very, warm, humid, inner Italy kind of weather. And uh, I was very tired and worn out by the time we got to Balenciaga. I told myself, you know, I wanted to hit a few more places before I committed and picked up one of the fabulous clip clutches. And before I knew it, we got some gelato and we're on a bus back to town and I completely forgot to buy the bag. So fast forward a couple years and it's now COVID time, one of my many wine induced COVID binges, um, shopping anyway. And uh, I was looking at, I think it was, I think I got this one from Rebag? No, Fashion File. I got this one from Fashion File for a really good deal and I absolutely loved it. Now, obviously, you know, once I left Florence, I, I never got it out of my mind. I think that was like 2018 when we were there. I didn't buy it until 2020 and I think I really lucked out. So this one's actually from the 2016 year. I think if I remember right, I want to say this is autumn winter. So this is just a noir, I think it's goat skin leather with um, blackout hardware. So it's got like matte black hardware. It's a gorgeous combination. I've, I've never seen the black on black ever again. So I'm glad I snagged this one when I did. Now, prices when you're shopping online. So there's three sizes that I know of, maybe four, there could be an extra small of the clip clutch. You have the large, which is this one here. Dimensions, let me give those to you, are, drum roll, 14 and a half long, 10 inches tall and about half an inch thick. Now this is a very relaxed leather. So you could easily, I mean, get quite a bit in there and still zip it up. So it's a very generous size bag. It fits a lot more than it than it looks like it might. Anyway, they came in four sizes. So they had the large, the medium, obviously, small, and I think there was an extra small if I remember right. I could totally be wrong though. Now, the size large does have a divider compartment on the inside, so you get technically three compartments. You get two on the main interior of the bag and then one very generous size pocket here on the front. We'll, we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Now, this is obviously long discontinued. They've kind of moved away from the Lariat motocross, well, not motocross, moto style bags in favor of more streamlined with the Dimna Gavisalia collections. I hope I said that right. Um, but again, I, I absolutely love this bag. So this actually kind of fueled my Addiction's not really the word. Um, I'd say maybe obsession with Balenciaga. So after this, I, I went a few months. And I'm like, okay, you know, that kind of scratched the Balenciaga itch. <sighs> it didn't. So then I think I picked up five more of the smaller flap style clutches and the large puffer quilted whatever that I showed you guys a few weeks ago. And then that really interesting architectural triangle bag. Anyway, I, I think I bought like nine or 10 Balenciagas in 12 months. I. <sighs> There should be a 12 step program for Balenciaga, I, I swear. Now, when you're shopping for this in the pre-owned market, make sure to check out the price point. I, I think depending on condition, you can get it anywhere from 200, maybe up to six or 700. I think I bought it for about three or four. Um, this isn't a very particularly popular style, so you can easily find this on like Fashion File or Rebag discounted, um, 20, 30%. So if you're looking for one and you're looking at 
not a particularly rare color like black, uh, give it a few weeks and see if you can get a better deal on it once it goes down in price. I, I highly recommend getting the best deal, especially with these older Balenciaga styles. You can get these for a pretty good steal these days, which is kind of amazing if you're obsessed like I am. All right, so I, I've gushed enough. Now let's take a close-up look and see what all fits inside the Balenciaga Clip Clutch size large. All right, so here we have the Balenciaga Clip Clutch in size large. I absolutely love this bag. It's just a classic black lambskin leather. You'll have the black out hardware, which I think is really cool and gives it kind of a fun masculine matte kind of look. And over here, I think this is why it's called the clip clutch because it just has this kind of key ring here where you can clip things to it. Um, I'm kind of looking for some Balenciaga tassels. I think those would look really fun just kind of hanging from that side of the bag. Anyway, this bag is such a great size. You could easily use it for work if you need to carry documents. I fit a small uh, MacBook Pro in there. iPad obviously fits. I even use this one actually for jury duty. Um, I put a couple of the most recent town and countries in there so I had something to flip through while we waited on the decision and everything. Anyway, fantastic bag. So this one actually carries quite a bit. So what I normally carry in some of my smaller bags is not gonna fill this up. So just know that what I carry on a normal day, you can get fit so much more in here on top of that. But let's get started. So with this one, I usually put my cell phone right here in the front pocket just so I can get to it so much easier. Here we have the old six plus, which is very similar in size to the new Pro Max sizes. So we'll slide that in, zip it up, and we're good there. So with any of my Balenciagas, I love to carry my Compagnon wallet. This one I think is in the anthracite colorway with just the giant silver hardware. And inside it's very simple. So even though it looks like a traditional zippy wallet, it's really just a bifold with a zipper. A rare occasion where I'm actually carrying some cash, funny enough. But um, in here I just have all the cards that I'm gonna need, so. I love this wallet, it's a great size. Now, I do worry about the hardware scratching things up, especially the screen of my phone or the camera. So when I put it in there, I usually put the studs toward the back. That way it's not facing anything delicate. Also, what I love about this bag is the interior compartment is separated into two separate compartments with this divider. And on here, you just have the traditional Balenciaga Paris tag. And then of course the date, code, color, and made in Italy here on the underside. Anyway, back to basics. So in here, let's put our Shiseido blotting papers and our gum here at the front with our wallet. And then just to protect the hardware and of course the very expensive BMW key, let's put that on the back side away from the wallet. Throw our headphones in for good measure. And there you go, we have everything we're gonna need for the day in there and room for more. I absolutely love this bag and because it's such a light, I think this is actually when they started using goat skin if I remember right, probably not lamb skin, but it's such a light leather, it's luxurious. I, I, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Balenciaga. Aside from Yves Saint Laurent and Louis Vuitton, that's probably one of my biggest obsessions is Balenciaga and I absolutely love this bag. The back side, it's very plain, just kind of a matte, leather and overall it's just very smushy. Um, it's a fabulous bag to carry and I always get compliments when I take this one out. So that is the Balenciaga Clip Clutch size large up close and personal. All right guys, so that's my review on the Balenciaga Clip Clutch. I can't say enough about this bag. It's fantastic. It checks all the boxes for what I need in a daily bag. If you can find one, if you're looking for one, grab one if you haven't already. Uh, this would be another fun bag to have in different colors. Um, so yeah, I'll probably buy a few more. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Is this something you'd carry? Is this something that you might be looking for? If you have any questions about the bag, let me know down below. I'm not a huge Balenciaga expert, but I am learning. So if I don't have the answer, I'll Google it. I don't know. Um, now, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Again, a huge shout out to Zane. He always makes my videos look phenomenal. I know I ramble a lot, so thank you for cutting all that down. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram, go ahead and give that a look. Caleb.snell.designer, same name over on TikTok. And that's today's video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Have a great week.